okay for the class templates and I think I would uh, show it for you to in the practice so as you may remember we wrote this my vector class earlier this is just the container which will automatically grow as you remember I told you don't delete this source code because we will need it so let's start first we create a template and inside angular brackets as in the functions and in case of function uh, templates we put class uh, T for example it's usually a good idea to make it one capital letter or a capital letter because uh, it is how anyone any everybody will write it okay and now that's it uh, you want to change to this t parameter everything that should be a t parameter so uh, an uh, unidentified parameter for yet but uh, later it will be a double int const uh, like that not const uh, char or or anything other so just change this so any return type parameter or uh, data type which is a declaration like here in case of array because the array should get a uh, data type which is actually an unknown type for yet uh, but it will be known whenever we create uh, the array all right then we want to change the pushback so it will wait an int and actually it wi it will wait a reference because it has uh, because it is much more efficient okay the operator will give back a t so this template parameter and uh, actually here this will be a t reference too just don't change to ch change to uh, this uh, reference in the definition because I probably will forget it. Okay, and the at it will be a T template. Okay, that's it. And uh, there is one thing I want to tell you that this template, if it is uh, def defined outside of the class, should be put every single uh, definition so in case of here and because the, the compiler has to know that this is with a template you have to put this template parameters there so every single definition you have to do that so you do that in here and change it to T simple enough then you put it here and uh, change this to t and put angular brackets in here and set it to t simple and now put it here put angular brackets in after the um, uh, name of the class and inside angular brackets the type okay uh, change it to t and pretty much that's it okay go to the next one and use angular bracket and press t simple enough go to the next one write this here uh, put after the class name the type inside angular bracket and a t reference or oh, reference i simple enough and uh, after the next one we put that and we put the T here because the compiler has to know how much memory should it allocate and it with a T reference I simple enough right the next one okay it will be it with a T template and we use a T reference I simple enough next one we put the T here inside angular brackets and uh, we make it T, we make it T, and yeah, that's it pretty much. We go to the next, we put it here, we put the T here, and that's it. 
we go to the next one we put it here and we put it here just copy and paste simple <laughs> that's it all right uh, this will be a t reference t reference i okay and uh, that's it next one why do we define so many member function i don't go over the end of it so t and uh, it is t and simple that's it okay uh, oh finally there is no more and if you define uh, a class which is a template class as we used in case of uh, as we used in case of the normal vector because it is a template uh, as well uh, we will we have to use the angular bracket not here here the angular bracket and the type you want to store for now we just want to store integer as well okay now just try to compile it probably I yeah I forget to change it to a reference in 59 as I said earlier I will uh, what is the problem oh it will uh, return with a T okay e try to compile again okay there are yes so it is it uh, should be the return type changed to T and it stays an integer okay the next one is at line 86 so right here uh, we have a problem actually yeah every class name you have to put the, the T after it so yeah th like this uh, this will tell the compiler that it is a template class so there is one more I think in line 120 uh, right here oh that's probably just the uh, error a problem should be that this isn't const so let's go back here and make it const probably it will make okay we have to change a few things uh, which uh, the compiler doesn't uh, problem in case of normal uh, class but uh, there is a problem with it so make const everything with that we don't change so this and the pushback too and the definitions too so uh, so in case of pushback it const and in case of plus equal plus equal it is const and uh, yeah it should now compile or not because uh, we have to put the we have to put the class template to every single instance of the uh, my vector class so uh, everywhere there where the my vector is occur you want to put the t so the template all right now the program compile probably and now we can run the program okay write a few numbers in it and just uh, it's the test that is it work or not so yeah minus one and uh, yeah it should it's what 99 oh we put the 99 at the back but the others are good yeah everything work fine now try a character 
So just change this int to a char and change this minus 1 to Q, letter Q. And this should work as well, as you can see. A, S, D, S. So this is the alphabet as I know it. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. Try to write a Q. A Q. Uh oh. There is a problem here. What the problem is? Oh. It is. I forget to change this temp value to char. Now, we compile the program, run it, and type the alphabet. Okay, and out. Okay, and this write out everything. The 99 which we push back will it's implicitly converted to to the ASCII 99 which is a character C, that's why the C is uh, there. Alright then, try to make bigger, n uh, more characters in it, so I type the entire alphabet without the Q. And now try to exit. And yeah. It seems that it's worked fine. Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day. Uh, by the way, before we go, you can pass any type of uh, mm, any type here, even user-defined type or or even my vector type, which will be a little weird, but you can do that. So yeah, that is for template characters. Don't forget that you have to pass the template character everywhere. So here every instance of where the my vector is occur. Like here, here, even the return type as we saw earlier. So where we declare the plus equal, even the return type and everywhere. You have to do that for to make it work and uh, you have to define what data type uh, is it because it has to know at compile time uh, what memory should it allocate uh, in case of char it would allocate one byte for the array so actually tw 20 byte because we uh, make a 20 byte array and uh, and f uh, two times four byte for the max and the size, max size and the size. Uh, pretty much that's it. Okay, uh, this template character is a template of variable. You can use this variable as a normal variable. As you can see, you can use it with new. You can use it with yeah. You can use it with anything and the compiler will uh, change these characters to integers or chars or floats, double, use, uh, some user defined type, anything you want and pretty much that's from that's for the uh, templates. I thought that this will be a little bit uh, uh, shorter tutorial although it becomes a really uh, long because a lot of copy paste copy paste and uh, the few errors I made because I forget to to make some constants and r uh, the forget to, to put the t uh, uh, the template parameter in to the re return type and so on some mistakes but it happens sometimes okay but uh, as you can see it's pretty much uh, easy to make a normal uh, class into a template class now this normal class which originally can only store integers now can store any type of data as you can imagine all right then thank you for watching and have a great day